guys did a great, great job. I'm so glad to see you. So many of you remember so many verses, so many songs. This is very, very good. I think this is the gift for, for your mothers. We praise God for our mothers. Amen? Amen. All right. Now, <clears throat> last year, we learned something about animals. We learned in Genesis 1, 24, the Bible spoke like uh, God created everything, everything. Dumnezeu a zis, să dea pământul viețuitoare după soiul lor, vită, tărătoare și fiare pământești. Toate să fie după soiul lor. God made all the animals. And the animals, they have something very, very special. What do they have? I have a clue up there. Yeah. They have love. They have love for their children, if you want, right? For their little ones. Now, I went to somebody's house. And the first thing they were telling me, be aware. I have a German shepherd, but they have little puppies. What do you do if you see a dog with the puppies? Do you get close? Why? They'll bite you. They're very protected. You know what? God gave this German shepherd special love for the puppies, right? Now, how about the hands? Do you think God gave them special love for the little cheeks? I have one at home, and about a week ago, my cat, Pufulets, tried to go to the hand. Do you know what the hand did? Joseph, where are you? What did, what did she do? Scared the cat, chased the cat, and the cat ran away. You could see a hand running after a cat. It was kind of hilarious. But you know what? The hand has special love for her babies. Now, I also love cows, and I have a cow. I had a cow about a year ago that gave birth to a dead calf. This is called a stillborn. And when I went there, my neighbor called me up. He said, Sylvia, you got to come over. There is a calf in the middle of the pasture, and there's the mama cow right there by, by him. I went, and I tried to go to bury him, but the minute I got closer, this cow came running towards us, and she was sitting right there by the calf. I could not do anything. I had to wait probably about 30 minutes for the cow to go away and then I was able to take care of the cat. But after I took care of the calf, I can tell you that the mama cow came back. She was looking for her baby even though it was dead and she couldn't find it. And for the next two days, that cow stood there in the middle of the pasture, mooing, crying and looking for her baby. The cow has a special, special love for her calf. Now, you don't want to see a bear with the cubs, right? Because the bear, it's extremely dangerous. Especially if it's got the cubs, you have to stay away. Because God created the bear to have that kind of love. That for her cubs, the bear will be ready to kill somebody. Will be ready to do destruction just because of the, cow, the cubs. Now, how about the lion? If you go to the zoo and you see a lion, you see how furious the lion is, how the lion makes, what kind of noises do, do, do they make? Ugh. Imagine if somebody gets close to the cubs. Very aggressive, right? Very aggressive. Again, love of an animal for their children. Now, there is the love of the mother. And I can tell you today that your mother... Each one of your mother loves you very much. There is nobody in this world and they will, that loves you and they will ever love you more, of course, than God. God loves all of us. But your mother loves you the most. There is nobody in this world that loves you more than the mother. Mothers are special. Mothers have a special love for their children. But let me tell you, there are some mothers that they don't have this love for their children. And the Bible, in, in Isaiah 49, 15, spune că dar poate o mamă să-și uită copilul pe care l-a lăptează? Poate să nu aibă milă de rodul pântecelui său și chiar dacă iar ar uita, eu nu te voi uita. This is what the Bible talks about God and about His people. Jerusalem and Israel. Love 
goes above and beyond and love, God loves us so much. In, in John 3.16, there's a verse. God talks about His love for us. Can anybody tell me this verse? John 3.16. Does anybody know this verse? Yes, Zach. For God? Whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting love. For God so loved the world, fiindcă atât de mult a iubit Dumnezeu lumea. O dragoste mai mare decât dragostea mamei, o dragoste extrem de mare. He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him, oricine crede în El, să nu piară, ci să aibă viață veșnică. This is love. This is love that God gave us. His love goes all over, more, far beyond anybody's love. Now, for us, in order to accept God's love, we need to ask God, first of all, to forgive us of our sin. And we ask God to receive us, to forgive us and to accept us. May the Lord bless you and help you obey your parents. You sing so beautiful. Children, your mother and father, do you know what they love the most? For you to be obedient, okay? And you are singing so good about obedience. Help us all obey our parents, our mother and father, because it's written. Children, you obey your parents, and the Lord for this is right. May the Lord bless you. Go to your parents, tell them you love them, and obey them, okay? And give them a kiss too. Fratele Mante is going to give them a kiss. Give them a kiss and a hug. How about that? All right, may the Lord bless you. Go back to your parents. God bless you all.